Solving Rational Equations, Quarter 1, Module 6. Solve for x. Example number 1. Given a rational equation x plus 1 all over 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 3. Now, to find the value of x that will satisfy to the given rational equation, first, we need to find the least common denominator or the LCD of the given rational equation. Now, pansinin niyo yung nasa denominator ng ating rational equation. Titingnan natin kung meron bang common factor ang dalawang uh, all the denominators of the given rational equation. Kung napapansin niyo, walang common factor ang 2x minus 1 at ang 3. Therefore, we will multiply this and that is now the LCD. So, the LCD is the product of 2x minus 1 and 3. So, step number 2, multiply the LCD both sides of the equation. So, we will now multiply both sides of our equation. So, we have 2x minus 1 times 3 times x plus 1 all over 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 third times 2x minus 1 times 3. So, we will now apply the distivity property and simplify. So, multiplying 2x minus 1 times 3 to the numerator. So, again ha, sa numerator lang natin, multiply. So, we will get 2x minus 1 times 3 times x plus 1 all over the denominator. Ko ano yung denominator? Kukopyahin lang natin. On the other side of our equation, we will multiply 2x minus 1 times 3 or the LCD to the numerator. So therefore, we have 1 times 2x minus 1 times 3 all over the denominator which is 3. Now, before we proceed or simplify the both sides of our equation, Titignan muna natin kung meron bang common factor, both numerator and denominator. Kung napapansin nyo, sa left side of our equation, merong common factor na 2x minus 1. So, we will cancel the common factor. On the other side, or the right side of our equation, ano ang common factor? Kung napapansin nyo, both numerator and denominator, merong 3. So, we will cancel now the factor or yung 3 natin. Then, after that, we will copy the remaining factors, both sides of our equation. Then, we will now simplify or multiply. So, 3 times x plus 1, so you, we will get 3x plus 3 is equal, okay, 1 times 2x minus 1, so we have 2x minus 1. Then, after that, we will now solve for x. To find the value of x, kailangan nating i-combine yung magkatulad na terms. So, we need to combine like terms. So, we need to transpose 2x on the other side by its additive inverse. So, we have 3x minus 2x is equal. On the other side or the right side of our equation, yung mga constant naman. So, we will now add both sides of our equation to the additive inverse of positive 3, so we will get negative 3 minus 1. So now, combine like terms, 3x minus 2x, so we have x is equal to negative 3 minus 1, negative 4, and this is now the value of our x. Since we arrived that x is equal to negative 4, to check if this is correct, we will now Substitute the value of x or negative 4 to the given rational equation. Then, negative 4 plus 1 all over 2 times negative 4 minus 1 is equal to 1 third. So, we don't know yet if this is correct. Okay, simplify. We have negative 3 over negative 8 minus 1 is equal to 1 third. Then, negative 3 over negative 9 is equal to 1 third. Then simplify negative 3 over negative 9, the result is 1 third, which is equal to 1 third. 
Therefore, x is equal to negative 4 is the value of x, or it satisfies to the given rational equation. Example number 2. The rational equation is 3 over 4x minus 2 over x squared is equal to 1 over 2x. Now, you have observed that the denominators are 4x, x squared, and 2x. To find the LCD, we need to write the prime factors of each denominator. So let us start with 4x. The prime factors are 2, 2, and x. Well, the prime factors of x squared, we have x and x. You have observed that there is a common factor. We need to write it vertically because we only need to write it once. Then, we have the, the prime factors of 2x. We have 2 and x. Then, to find the LCD, we need to write all the factors. If there is a common factors, we only need to write it once. So we have 2 times 2 times x times x. And the result is 4x squared. And 4x squared is the LCD. Then, step number 2, multiply the LCD both sides of the equation. Then we obtained 4x squared times 3 over 4x minus 2 over x squared is equal to 1 over 2x times 4x squared. Then apply the distributive property and simplify. So 4x squared times 3, so we have 12x squared over the denominator 4x. Then 4x squared times negative 2 is equal to negative 8x squared over the denominator x squared is equal to 4x squared times 1. So we have 4x squared over the denominator 2x. If you have observed that we only multiply the LCD to the numerator of each term, then we copy the denominator. Then after that, we will know simplify each term. So 12x squared divided by 4x. The result is 3x. Then negative 8x squared over x squared. Then we have negative 8 is equal to 4x squared over 2x. The result is 2x. Then after that, we will now solve for x. Then we need to combine like terms. We need to transpose 2x to the left side of our equation while negative 8 to the right side of our equation. Then we have 3x minus 2x is equal to positive 8. Then 3x minus 2x is x is equal to 8. And the value of x is 8 to 2. Since we obtained x is equal to 8, we need to check if this will satisfy to the given rational equation. So we will do the step number 5. We will check our answer by substituting the value of x to the given rational equation. So when x is equal to 8, then substitute, we have 3 over 4 times 8 minus 2 over 8 squared is equal to 1 over 2 times 8. Then we will now simplify. So we have 3 over 32 minus 2 over 64 is equal to 1 over 16. Then we will now uh, combine 3 over 32 minus 2 over 64. If you can still recall on how to subtract fractions, first we need to determine the LCD of the two fractions. Since the LCD is 64, then after that, we will now divide 64 to 32, then multiply the result to the numerator. So 64 divided by 32, the result is 2 times 3, so we have 2 times 3. Then 64 divided by 64, the result is 1 times negative 2, so we have negative 2 is equal to 1 over 16. Then we will now simplify 
2 times 3 minus 2. So 2 times 3, that is 6 minus 2, the result is 4 over 64 is equal to 1 over 16. Then 4 over 64, when we simplify this, the result is 1 over 16, which is equal to 1 over 16. And therefore, x is equal to 8 will satisfy to the given rational equation. Example number 3. The given rational equation is 4x plus 1 all over x plus 1 minus 3 is equal to 12 over x squared minus 1. You have observed that the denominators are x plus 1 and x squared minus 1. Now, step number 1, find the least common denominator. So we need to write the factored form or the factors of each denominator in the given rational equation. So let us start with x plus 1. Since x plus 1 is not factorable, therefore we will copy or we will write x plus 1. Then x squared minus 1 is factorable and the factors are x plus 1 and x minus 1. Then the LCD we have the product of x plus 1 and x minus 1. Since we already have the LCD, we will now multiply the LCD both sides of the equation. Okay, then step number three, apply the distributive property and simplify. So we will now multiply the LCD to the given uh, rational equation, both sides. Then x plus 1 times x minus 1 times 4x plus 1 over the denominator x plus 1. Then x plus 1 times x minus 1 times negative 3. So we have negative 3 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 times x minus 1 times 12 over the denominator x squared minus 1. So you have observed that x squared minus 1 can also be written in a factored form. So the factors are x plus 1 times x minus 1. Why do we need to write it in a factored form? Because it is easier for us to identify the common factor and simplify. So we will now simplify each term. So let us start with the first term. So you have observed that there is a common factor, both numerator and denominator. And the common factor is x plus 1. And we will cancel out the common factor. And in the second term, so there is no denominator. And in the third term, so you have observed that there is or there are common factors. So we have x plus 1, we will cancel out. And x minus 1, we will cancel out. Then copy the remaining factors. So in the first term, we have x minus 1 times 4x plus 1. Then copy the second term, negative 3 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to, okay, 12. Then we will now multiply or simplify x minus 1 and 4x plus 1. Using a FOIL method, we all know that x minus 1 times 4x plus 1 is 4x squared minus 3x minus 1. Then in the second term, we can multiply or simplify x plus 1 times x minus 1. So using a FOIL method, we have the product of x plus 1 and x minus 1 is x squared minus 1. So that's we have that that is why we have negative 3 times x squared minus 1 is equal to 12. Then, we will now copy 4x squared minus 3x minus 1 and distribute negative 3 inside the quantity of x squared minus 1 or multiply negative 3 and x squared minus 1. So, the result we have negative 3x squared plus 3 is equal to 12. Then, we will now combine like terms. So you have observed, if we're going to combine uh, like terms in the left side of our equation, we obtained x squared minus 3x 
plus 2 is equal to 12. Then we will now transpose positive 12 on the other side so that we will have or we will equate uh, the given equation to 0. So by the additive inverse of positive 12, which is negative 12, so we will add both sides. So we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus 12 is equal to 0. Then combine the constant terms. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. You have observed that the expression in the left side is already a quadratic expression. Then we are now going to find or solve for x by using any method. If you can still recall, we have different methods in solving quadratic equation. But at this time, to make it easier, we will use factoring. Then we have x plus 2 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. Then we will now equate each factor to 0 to find the value of x. So let us start with x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to negative 2. While x minus 5 is equal to 0, then x is equal to positive 5. So there are two values of x in the given quadratic equation for x plus 1 all over x plus 1 minus 3 is equal to 12 over x squared minus 1. Now, to check if these values of x will satisfy to the given Russian equation, we're going to So step 5. When x is equal to negative 2, so we will now substitute x to the given rational equation. So 4 times negative 2 plus 1 all over negative 2 plus 1 minus 3 is equal to 12 over negative 2 squared minus 1. So we have negative 8 plus 1 over negative 1 minus 3 is equal to 12 over 4 minus 1. Then simplify. So we have negative 7 over negative 1 minus 3 is equal to 12 over 3. Then we have 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 and 4 is equal to 4 which is correct. Therefore, if x is equal to negative 2, it will satisfy to the given rational equation. Now, how about the other value when x is equal to positive 5? So let's check. Then substitute the values of x to 5. So we have 4 times 5 plus 1 all over 5 plus 1 minus 3 is equal to 12 over 5 squared minus 1. Then simplify, we have 20 plus 1 over 6 minus 3 is equal to 12 over 25 minus 1. Then 21 over 6 minus 3 is equal to 12 over 24. Then we, are, we will now combine or we will now uh, subtract 21 over 6 and 3. So we have 21 minus 18 all over 6 is equal to 12 over 24. Then 21 minus 18, we have 3 over 6 is equal to 12 over 24. Then we can still simplify both sides of our equations. Then we have 1 half is equal to 1 half, which is correct. Therefore, it, it is also true when x is equal to 5. So it also satisfied to the given rational equation. So the values are negative 2 and positive 5.